Hello everyone, Mr. and Stitches here. Just wanted to do a quick video today to show you how to find our calendar blankets page on our website and a quick walkthrough of what is on that page. And today we have a special guest. Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome Jada and Stitches. Hello. Thank you for coming into the studio well, today. Thanks for the invite, Mr. and Stitches. Really appreciate your help and your expertise. Happy to be here. <laughs> okay, so what you see on the screen right now is the Mighty Mile a Minute. Um, this is the first blanket that is going to pop up on the web page. But before we get into the blankets, we are going to show you how to get there. So if you have a PC, a laptop, something like that, and you visit our website, you're going to come across this page and you're going to want to click on the calendar blankets, which is right here. And if you're on a phone or a tablet, you're going to see these three little lines inside the yellow area. You're going to want to click on that and that is what is going to bring up the menu of the pages on the website. And this is for a tablet and a phone. And this part of the menu, once it opens up, this is where you're going to click on calendar blankets. So once you do that, whether you're on a phone, tablet or personal computer, it'll bring you into this area. So. Let's start with our current blanket. Yeah, so we've done a calendar blanket project every year since 2016, I guess. Yes. Um, and uh, we've got them in order. So the most recent one is on top. For those of you who are doing the 2021 Mighty Mile a Minute blanket with us, uh, we keep all of our current and um, past calendar blanket and calendar blanket related information on this page. So if you're working on this year's project, you'll find all of the pertinent tutorials and anything that we put up that goes along with it. So for example, we did a live stream where we had a whole sort of frequently asked questions thing. We also have a short form version of that, which is sort of if you've got quick questions you want answered, we have that there too. Um, and as we go through the year, we'll be updating that um, anytime we add a new tutorial or, you know, a little something that maybe just is adjacent to or reflects the project that we're all working on together. You can watch the video embedded on the website here, but if you'd like to see the video on a bigger scale, if you use a um, big screen television or you've got a bigger computer, you might want to pop over to the YouTube channel for that. Um, I'm going to put links to every single playlist in the description box of this video and pin it in the comment. So if anyone wants to do that, they can do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's continue on here. So last year, um, after we did, um, uh, I should say, going, going back in time, last year for 2020, we did a patchwork quilt style calendar blanket. Um, patchwork and quilting is very close to my heart and we thought it would be a real blast to come up with some crocheted square patterns that are based on really classic sewing patchwork quilt patterns. So, you know, your nine patch, your um, hourglass log cabin, all the old ones. And we thought it would be really fun to just sort of create a 12 in total and that's what we did and of course the entire blanket is all 12 of these put together but like so many of the blanket projects we do each individual month's addition can be used to make its own project so if you're just in love with the nine patch you can make an entire blanket that's just all the nine patch square and so on and so on so that was that was 2020 that was 2020 last year so moving on to the next blanket here on our web page I guess that's 2019. We move to 2019, the Folk Art Calendar Blanket. This was a really cool project. This was really different than most of the, um, the blanket projects we've done. We started with the whole blanket. So the first couple of videos, you make the entire canvas. And then for the rest of the year, we were making individual appliques to sew on. Uh, using using yarn, so not not sewing needle and thread, but using yarn. We made all these appliques to sew them onto the blanket, and we had one great big, basically a painting. So it, we were inspired by folk art from around the world, and we wanted to do uh, basically some painting with crochet. And I was, love this. That one. was 2019. Yes. I loved it. 
So moving on, as we go down the page, we get to our 2018 calendar blanket series, which is the Victorian Stitch Sampler. This one is really neat too. It reminds me of, um, of our 2021 Mile a Minute blanket, where every month we did a different stitch pattern. And each of these stitch patterns were all, you know, you can use them on their own to make a whole variety of different projects. But this was inspired by the way ladies in the Victorian era used to learn and share stitch patterns. They would make a little sample of it and then they would they would put it away in a book or they would work it into a larger project or they would share it with friends and then you would look back at that little sampler of stitch work and you'd go, oh yeah, that's how I that's how I make that particular pattern. Yes. Um, so I really liked that one. Yeah, so, so once fun. again, uh, someone that's following along can either use one stitch to make their entire blanket mm -hmm. or follow along with the entire calendar blanket yes, project and, yes. and make the one we made. And just out of curiosity, if you did do that blanket along with us, I'd love it if you commented down below which of those 12 patterns was your favorite. Yeah, that'd be fun. Next blanket, the 2017. We call this one the fancy square. Yeah, this is the fancy square blanket. Um, each of these squares, they're all 12 inches squared or almost 12 inches. Um, so basically 29 centimeters, I think is what they come out to. And we did a square that sort of reflected the month that we were making it for. Themed. Um, yeah, a they little were bit themed. of a theme. Yeah. They, some of them were sort of faces, some of them were objects, and I had so much fun. This one was a blast. We had a lot of fun doing this one. I um, love all these squares so much. So many, uh, um, so many of you shared your blankets with us at the end of the year, and we just loved them. Everyone's looked so great. Mm -hmm. Lots of um, people are still making this blanket. Um, I still make these squares for various other <laughs> yes, projects. This yes. is definitely this is definitely chief among my favorite projects. Yeah. Also, <laughs> um, all of these, not all, but most of these are available in our Etsy shop if anyone mm -hmm. wants a written version of it. Yes. Um, so, moving on, this is the last one on our list, but it's the first calendar blanket series we did back in 2016. Yes, we were inspired to do a temperature blanket. Um, we have a, an actual temperature chart, um, so the whole sort of way you can you can use a chart to decide what color to go with whatever the temperature of the day is. We have that on the tools page. Yes. Um, and that's another page on our website. Mm -hmm. And this is just a whole lot of fun. It's it's probably the most ambitious one we ever did. It was a square a day. Mm. And 2016 was a leap year, so we had 366 <laughs> squares um, to do instead of 365. And I just went with the, the daily high. So I marked down the temperature high. I checked the temperature at noon every single day and I wrote it down in my agenda and that way if I didn't get around to making the square that night I could sort of do them all kind of catch up on the weekend and this was a mini granny square join as you go blanket yes and we did we did sort of monthly updates you know obviously you don't need to keep sort of repeating over and over again yes we didn't do, do a video a month for that one we yeah. did uh, I think every quarter we yeah. did a, an update every video. couple of months I think we was did it? an update yeah, yeah. just every to two sort, months? Of, sort of show everybody how it was going and then at the end we showed everyone how to do the um, what do you call that the stitch the letter stitching yes the chain writing chain so writing. using the surface chain stitch um, or what used to be called um, tambour old sort of like crochet um, this is a chain stitch that you can you can write with it. So uh, we, we kind of Love signed it, it and uh, there was a really pretty border on this one. Yeah. I really liked that blanket. That was really neat. I'll definitely be doing another temperature blanket at some point. Okay, so there we go. There's a quick roundup of what is on our calendar blanket page. Um, it's all there on our website. If you'd like to go check it out at your leisure, look through all the projects. Um, you can watch the video right on the website or you can pop over to our YouTube channel and watch the videos in the series uh, via the playlist or just search them specifically. And uh, if you go to YouTube, you'll be able to watch it on a bigger screen. One of the reasons that we did the calendar blanket page on our website was because we get a lot of questions about people who kind of want to go back to an old project and they get lost. YouTube is a big place. Mm -hmm. So if you can't quite find the, you know, the, the particular tutorial you're looking for, we thought it would be helpful if we could just put it all into one small place. Yes. So that was and we idea. get asked a lot if they can do an old project. Mm -hmm. And the, the answer to that is absolutely. Absolutely. All of our previous 
projects are archived on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. and that's part of the reason why we wanted to do this page so we could hopefully make it a little easier to find. Yeah, if you're looking for something that's calendar blanket related, it's all on this page. Yeah. yeah. So did we cover everything? I think we did. You can you know how to get there, you know what you're going to find and <laughs> um, and how to use the page. Really simple navigation and it goes in uh, reverse chronological order. So everything starts with the 2021 blanket, and which we're in the middle of right now, and then all the way back to our very first one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you have any questions about our calendar blanket web page or the series, how to get to them, please leave a comment down below. And what was it you mentioned at the beginning to leave a... Oh, yeah. A, if you had a question about... If you've done any one of our calendar blankets, I would love to know which monthly installment was your favorite. So yes. which was your favorite stitch or which was your favorite fancy yeah, square? Please. I'd love to know. That's great. Please let us know. Yeah. And also, if you would like to message us, the best way to message us is via a comment on our YouTube channel if you have any questions or message us through our Etsy shop. Um, on YouTube, it's always public. Um, I think you can do private messaging on our through our Etsy shop yes. if you want to. If you want to. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we'll leave it at that. And uh, everyone, have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you soon for a new video. Yeah. Stay safe and stay crafty, everybody. Bye. Bye.